tell us about Patriot Games. How did they get started? Oh well, I'm, I was a single trader um, traveling around between events, um, and uh, it sort of grew to a point where I needed to be able to take it to the next level. And opening a store was that level. It was at a time three years ago, three and a half years ago now, when um, Wizards were moving away from supporting independent organizers and more into supporting stores. Um, and so for me, it made sense from a lot of different angles. You know, um, having a physical presence would, uh, would give me more um, uh, exposure to players and it would give us access to the VPN store on the exclusive stuff like Friday Night Magic and pre-releases, things yeah, like exactly. that. Um, and so um, I, I opened my store with a little bit of money that I had and uh, all the singles that I'd sort of... Was it three years ago today or is it just around this time? Not quite today. Um, it was the 23rd of July, so we can see we're quite quite sort of close to the third birthday. Cool, cool. Yeah. And so how how's yeah. it how's it grown since uh, your initial... Oh. <laughs> Your Meteoric, with the first store had about 150 square foot of space. We had room for two gaming tables, a small counter, and some stock on the wall. Uh, we could fit about 12 players in. And the current store, uh, we've got space for 72. We, we've got uh, 1,200 square foot of space. Um, and as you can possibly see in the background here, yes, we are surrounded singles by singles. Well. Uh, yeah. Patriot Games has a lot of singles, guys. So if you're in the Leeds area, it's worth coming down and checking out what they've got. The best prices as well. There we go. A little bit of a plug. Um, so yeah, so why, why did you decide to do a Modern Masters event to celebrate the third birthday of Victory Games? Um, because everyone loves Modern Masters. Everybody, not <laughs> because, a single person doesn't. Yeah, you well, heard it here. Yeah, um, Modern Masters is, is obviously a, a very exciting product. You've got a lot of, um, a lot of very cool cards in there. Um, it's designed to put a lot more cards into a modern card pool. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we, we wanted a big sort of signature event mm. um, that, that would get people talking about. Have you done a Modern Masters stuff. draft before? Uh, oh, we did. Yeah, we did lots of Modern Masters drafts last mm. year when it was first out. Ah, yeah, we held yeah. some stock back to be able to do something like this cool. uh, today. Yeah. A so. stockpile of stock. <laughs> Cool. And how's it been going already? How many how many players have we got here today? We've got twenty six players today, I think, okay. which is um, below expectations. We were we were rather hoping to get more on today. Mm -hmm. um, there's a number of factors that we could sort of dwell on for that. We had to move the event on because it's yeah, the it's the Tour de France, guys. Like it's it's their fault. Flipping cyclists <laughs> only uniting the whole of Yorkshire, celebrating something. <laughs> didn't think of the magic, did they? No. I don't know how about you. I've seen people on bikes before. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Overrated. <laughs> um, so yeah, how many how many draft pods are running then? Because we're going to have four pods, okay. um, and the top two from each pod will go on to the second draft. Two, okay, uh, cool. Uh, anything else you'd like to say before I let you go and run away from the camera? Oh well, uh, <laughs> uh, I actually expect to be a little bit more camera shy than. Uh, but um, if you haven't been down to the store yet, come on down, check us out. We've got lots of free to use gaming space. We run events for Magic. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, War Machine, Hordes, Pokemon, Cardfight Vanguard. Yep. Uh, we've got all sorts of games going on in the store. We've got very friendly, great, great atmosphere on Friday Night Magic. Um, got some very competitive players as well, though. So um, you know, I yep. did get pack credit a whole lot if you watch the test stream. But you know, it's, it's a good environment. You've got a mix. You've got a mix. You've got people who are very competitive, then you've got other people who are yeah. quite casual and like to and, do their own and brews the, and stuff the as well. Players are happy to help the, the yeah, yeah, as well. yeah. As long as, as long as you're not too salty, they're they're perfectly friendly as we saw on Friday. Sad face. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us, Mark.